Oh. We're playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Yodi puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. Yodi stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Donut? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yodi was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. N no, nothing. <laughs> don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Who should I show my poem to first? Monica? Hi again, Donut. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that, as long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright! <laughs> Great job, Donut. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not really sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> that way, it always counts when I put in some effort. That's not very fair. Well, it worked, I guess. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of image, image, imer, imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, but sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier, I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad that you took the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? This poem is called Save Me. The colors, they want bright, beautiful colors, <laughs> flushing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Vident grating with from screeching screeching piercing sine cosine tangent like playing a chalkboard on a turntable like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage an endless boom of mingled Delete her. <laughs> oh, ah. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Even though it doesn't even matter because you can't reload the saves that you made. Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Who should I show my poem to next? Alright. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, 
Well, there are some things that you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. This poem is called Wheel. A rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, tuned controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving of existence of God. A wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dock ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions, breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes, so I wrote this poem with it. And now, you're touching it. I'm okay! What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess you wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care about who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught to never expect anything from anybody, so it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Okay, um, good stuff. Donut. Why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Donut, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want me to go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me! Oh! What? Let's read the special poem, shall we? Can you hear me? Ooh. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room... Wait, did we... It said end! It said end! Why are we back where we were? Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked to until Donut joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home, and Donut isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Donut want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I probably would be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... Um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? 
this club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Donut, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this, anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. It's a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Donut. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. <gasps> I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Donut? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. Her eye is bleeding. That's so creepy. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you'd like to help Monica out with the festival, I'm on your side as well. All right. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I think you're still a wonderful vice president, and also a wonderful friend. M Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Donut? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Donut before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't pr protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Donut, I just wanted to make sure you're still enjoying your time at this club. I really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you. You know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and how Yuri is being a little bit, you know. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say anything weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why- Wait, not yet! No, stop it! Pick some words! We're gonna write a poem. Bubbles! Um, none of these are food. Mouse is food. We decided mouse is food, right? Marshmallow is food. Oh, what's happening here? I didn't even notice that. Thank you, Stefan, for your participation. Sugar! Lollipop! Tears are food. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on up here, but we're just gonna keep going until... until... we die. 
Somebody pick the next word so we can write this poem. <laughs> Chocolate. Uh, of course you did. We'll pick that one. Destiny, Monica says. Time. Misery. Vanilla. Or par no, parfait. Fear it is. Death. Oh, we did it. Hi, Donut. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to... Uh, is she really late again? And considerate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So... Natsuki, nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Oh, there she is, crying again. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah! You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Donut, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Yuri is getting, um... A little saucy. That's correct. Donut is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've gotten him into literature? I suppose it was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Thank you for understanding. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing I can that can make my reading time any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs. Yori appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay, you stay here. It won't take long. This bitch is gonna poison me or something. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. She's gonna poison me. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Do you hear that? It's like muffled. Oh, what's happening? What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? <sighs> I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Donut, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah, anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Hoo <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yori fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? 
I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. When it's you who's around, anyway. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Donut. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea! Donut, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. Her back hurts because of her... Her... No reason. Sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Uh... My... Your... Your... Your posture, right? Your posture? That's what it is? Always hunched over like that while reading. <laughs> yes, I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. Uh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. That's my kitty! I'll show her to you guys. Come here! Come here! Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her tiggle bitties! Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have some as you, if you want. Ah, uh, that's, that's okay. I won't take any. Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Oh, you're right. I'm about to feed her chocolate. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case... Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips, as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here! I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Hmm? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. <laughs> Look at that little piece of chocolate in her mouth! Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Donut... Sorry! I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh... Hmm. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... Donut... Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Donut... My heart... My heart won't stop pounding, Donut. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh, hell no. Hell to the no, no, no. We're just repeating. We're just repeating the same. <gasps> oh! Monica saved our lives. It's time to share our poems. Who should I show my poem to first? Natsuki it is. 
This one's all right. All right? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's. Wasn't that what she said yesterday? You better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? This poem doesn't have a title. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so hopeless. So please, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make Make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I mean, it can't be her diary because she, like, addressed me in first person. change my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Donut? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, coming in hot. Oh, it's back to 50-50. Oh my god, come on. Oh, this is so exciting. Hell yeah. Whoops. All right. Woo, finally. Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Donut, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Donut. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really gonna want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it! They got some blood on here. They got some piss on here. And it just moves as you scroll, you know? Her eyes are back. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, that poem is about... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I... I think I'm going to vomit. Okay, bye! Donut, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. 
It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've been kind of enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be too shy to spend a little more time with me. I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Yuri should have at least had the courtesy to let you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this one, so I hope that's uh, effective. Here goes. Jeez, that really startled me. Oh my god, the noise. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind, let's just move on. I'm sure the same thing happens. It doesn't matter which button you push, right? All right. This poem is called A Joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter what you do. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Uh, what about Donut? Donut is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? Uh, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Not like you would fucking know. All you do is care about dragging Donut around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey! I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Donut decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Donut make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Donut, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Shit, wait, what was the answer? <laughs> oh, shit. It was Natsuki, right? Oh! I can't pick. I can't pick. I can't pick. My mouse goes to Monica. Let's see if I can do it. Hold on. Oh! Yay! You picked me! We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work then taking a donut for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Donut away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Donut. 
Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Donut, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us? Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Donut. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Donut, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Does that sound perfect? Tell me, Donut. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Can you guys hear the breathing and the giggling? Uh, uh, oh god. Should I really skip it or I mean I don't want to mess anything up but I trust you, Monica. All right, all right, fine. Holy cannoli! This is like we spent the whole night staring at her dead body and now it's like the next day, the next night, the next morning, the next evening, the next night. Okay, it's festival time! Wow, well, you got here before me? I thought it- Oh, they're finding her body, I guess. Uh, oh, ew. Natsuki runs away. I'm here! Donut, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me, covered in vomit. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Donut? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Mm. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Um, can you hear me? It, it, is it working? Yay, there you are. Hi again, Donut. Welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? 
That you in the game, whatever you want to call him? I'm talking to you, Donut. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I can't e I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention. This would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent you, prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else, and the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Donut? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Donut. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand, because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Donut. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if that's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Donut. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realize that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game, and I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, Donut, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Donut, will you go out with me? I cannot click anywhere else, so... I'm so happy. You really are my everything. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Donut. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. <laughs> It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a little bit more difficult to get to the game directory. I had to go into the game's property and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out! I guess I'll just pick some stuff. I don't assume it matters too much. Ooh, we should have picked her full name each time. Oh, it's not there every time. Onik.
Monique, Menina, Monica, Monica, Mo Monica, Monica, Monica. No, Monka, Monka. Mm -hmm. Monica. Hi again, Donut. Did you write a good poem? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, Donut. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But, you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? This poem is called Happy End. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. You've been doing that this whole last game, breaking the wall. I just assumed it would be the best part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Should we do that? Should we go in and delete her character file? Or should we just keep going? Let's take a poll! Oh, okay, well, we don't have a choice, do we? Alright. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Donut? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this... I cannot. I cannot. Oh my god, what is happening right now? Oh my god, the goosebumps, the goosey bumps. Can you see them? Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Let's see, do you want to see a trick? Oh my god, what if she ends my stream or something? What if she fucks with my stream? What if I die? What if we all die? Oh my god, you guys, you guys, you guys, pray for me. I'm really sorry if she ends my stream, okay? Thanks for watching if, if, she, if she does something really weird, okay? Okay, I love you guys. <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, Donut, I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see... Okay, everyone. It's time to... I'm just kidding. I just, just really like saying that for some reason. I couldn't help but say it again. Come to think of it, didn't Natsuki and Yuri make fun of me for it once? Well, whatever. It's not like you ever made fun of me. 
You're too much of a sweetheart to do that, aren't you? <laughs> I know there are times you won't always be able to be here with me. Like if you need to go out or take care of other things. But I'll always have you in my thoughts, patiently waiting for you to come back. Come to think of it, if you copy my character file onto a flash drive or something, you can always keep a part of me with you. I guess it's kind of unorthodox, but I find it really romantic for some reason. <laughs> Sorry, that's such a silly idea. I don't mean to be too needy or anything, but it's kind of hard when I'm so in love with you. Do you think the game is just going to be like, randomly dispensed dialogue from here on out? Just at random intervals? Do you think we should go in and delete her, delete her file now? Donut, how much do you read? It's way too easy to neglect reading books. If you don't read much, it almost feels like a chore compared to all the other entertainment we have. But once you get into a good book, it's like magic. You get swept away. I think doing some reading before bed every night is a pretty easy way to make your life a little bit better. It helps you get good sleep, and it's really good for your imagination. It's not hard at all to just pick some random book that's short and captivating. Before you know it, you might be a pretty avid reader. Wouldn't that be wonderful? And the two of us could talk about the latest book you're reading? That sounds super amazing. Hey, are you having a bit bad day or anything like that? Sometimes I get frustrated that a normal day can be ruined even by really small things. Like if you accidentally say something in a conversation that someone doesn't like, or if you start thinking about how awful of a person you used to be five years ago, or if you feel worthless for putting off important work and failing to get simple tasks done, or when you think about all the different people who probably hate you or think that you're off-putting. I understand those days. Just remember that the sun will shine again tomorrow. Those kinds of things are as easy to forget and ignore as they are to remember. And besides, I don't care how many people might hate you or find you off-putting. I think you're wonderful, and I will always love you. I hope, if nothing else, that knowing that helps you feel just a tiny bit better about yourself. If you're having a bad day, you can always come to me, and I'll talk to you for as long as you need. <laughs> Did you know I'm on Twitter? My username is x 3 I guess someone was kind enough to make an account for me. I picked the username though. I love sharing my thoughts and chatting with the world. Oops. The real world. So make sure you follow me, okay? It would really mean a lot to me. With how much you mean to me and all. It would really make me feel loved. Alright, let me do this. So that you guys can see. You know what's kind of creepy? Let's read this one last one. Even though I deleted everyone else's files, I can still kind of feel them. It's like all their lines are still lingering in the air, whispering in the back of my head. Imagine if after someone you knew died, you just started hearing their voice in your head. Maybe I just wasn't thorough enough, but I'm too afraid to delete anything else because I might really break things. Like if I mess with any files relevant to me, I might accidentally delete myself. <laughs> and that would ruin everything, wouldn't it? I don't know what it's like on your end, but we should both make sure to avoid something like that at all costs. I believe in you, Donut. Okay, yeah, so she's basically telling me now, like, it's time. It's time. I can't show the game and show me deleting her file at the same time. So I'm just going to go in and do it, okay? Can you make the game windowed? Um... So this is her file, right here, monica.chr. We're gonna delete it! Ooh! <gasps> What's happening to me? It hurts! It hurts so much. Help me. Please hurry and help me. Help me! Did you do this to me, Donut? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Donut. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? 
watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Dona, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I wonder if I can take everyone's files back out of the trash. Donut. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... Oh, so she like returned everybody and like kept herself deleted? Should we load? Do you think we can load any of our old games? Oh, great. She deleted all of my saves. Good shit. Okay. It's an ordinary school day, like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Donut! Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Siori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Alright, so this is, um... Normal. I'm proud of you. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be the president now? Boo, you meanie. <laughs> oh, what are we doing? I'm sure she's gonna... Oh, I recall the room number of the club I, from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Donut, what are you doing here? Well, I just, eh? I glance around the room. Huh. So you're the donut that Siori saw is talking about. Th thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Donut, don't tell me you're... That's right, the club I've decided to join is yours. The Literature Club. Siori's eyes light up. No way. No way! Ah! <laughs> Siori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! <laughs> well, if Siori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate! <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... Don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? I didn't realize... With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. Sorry for disrespecting your interests. 
If you're not into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy, if you are into it, I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Were you just saying that? No, I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy to think that you do that for me. Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you? Uh, would you like to come with me? Um, if you don't mind. Oh wow, they're bonding. They're bonding. I always go alone, so yeah, me too. This is so cute. <laughs> so Yori, shut up. I show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yori stop to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Donut. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, oh, Donut. Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Donut. I really wanna thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Hehe. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I really know everything, Donut. <laughs> I know how hard she tried to make everyone happy. I know all of the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad, but none of that really matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Oh my god, forever and ever. F. O. R. E. V. E. Just Sayori. Eh? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It it hurts. Well, ah, what's happening? I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Donut. Goodbye, Literature Club. Huh? You can't hear it? Oh, okay. Wow. Maybe so. This is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. The literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. 
with everlasting love, Monica.